NBC4 News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us. Today marks the first in a five-day trial after the death of Ugandan women's activist Esther Nakajigo. She died back in 2020 when visiting Arches National Park on a windy day, a gust blowing open a gate that crashed into her car and killed her. Yes, ABC 4's Ali Rulian at the federal courthouse in Salt Lake City. And Ali, you've been there all day following the proceedings. What are they saying? So Emily Glenn, the family in court today with this $270 million wrongful death and a personal, or excuse me, personal claim lawsuit against the National Park Service. Now in the pretrial, the U.S. has already admitted fault for Esther or Essie Nakajigo's death, but what's being argued today in court is the amount of money owed to her husband and her mother and father. Now in June of 2020, 25-year-old Esther Nakajigo and her husband Ludo Michaud were driving Driving in the rental car visiting Arches National Park when a strong wind gust swung open a gate, crashing into their car and decapitating Esther. Her husband, mother and father suing for hundreds of millions for both economic and non-economic damages, saying not only was her death incredibly traumatic, she was a rising star of activism in her country of Uganda and across the world, creating a huge economic loss. The defendants arguing there is evidence Esther wanted to help others, but not in herself, telling the judge a more adequate amount for her family and husband based on the projection of her earnings and emotional damage is three and a half million in total. Esther's work centered on helping child mothers and empowering and helping women recognized by her country and the UN. Her mentor and colleague Wilson Jaga taking the stand today. His testimony showcasing Esther's prominence in, Uga in Uganda, citing her creation of a health center, multiple humanitarian reality TV shows, awards, scholarships, and more as generating over $540,000 in 2019. And he describes her as full of life, creative, driven, shining, and someone he's never seen before since and has never seen since. Esther was a star. She was one, of a, one in a million girls who came from nothing to something, and not only for herself, but for millions of girls in Africa. Now, her mother and husband in court today comforting each other through this trial. I'll have more on what Jaga said about Esther coming up on ABC4 News at 6. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Ali Rulian, ABC4 News.